Hi, I'm Tamara Zubati, a second year PhD student studying human-centered computing at Georgia Tech. Today, I'll be sharing our research about how people with mild cognitive impairment and their care partners use conversational agents, specifically the Google Home Hub. By 2050, the number of adults over 65 is expected to double in the US, and 20% of adults over 65 are likely to get mild cognitive impairment, or MCI. MCI is an intermediate stage between the expected cognitive decline of normal aging and the more pronounced decline of dementia. Our research is a part of the Cognitive Empowerment Program, a collaboration between Georgia Tech and Emory, which strives to empower people with MCI through lifestyle interventions, interactive technologies, therapeutics, and research collaborations. In the program, we refer to people with MCI as members of the program, rather than as patients. Our motivation for conducting this study was that we may support the daily lives of older adults with MCI and their care partners. In this project, we deployed 10 Google Homes to nine dyads composed of older adults with MCI and their care partners, and one older adult with MCI who was living alone. We analyzed 10 weeks of usage logs, interviewed the dyads to contextualize their experiences, and conducted individual surveys to understand attitudes and preferences for automated assistance. Over 10 weeks and across 10 homes, we recorded nearly 4,000 interactions over the domains of information foraging, coordination, entertainment, and home automation. Use by care partners was on average twice as high compared to their partners with MCI. During our interviews, we were able to better understand the experiences of participants using the Google Home Hubs in context. Across all the interviews, the following themes emerged. First, empowering dyads means empowering both the member and the care partner, and empowerment means different things to each of them. In fact, we dug deeper into how exactly conversational agents were empowering. Members who used the Google Home Hubs got information about the world around them without needing to use their cell phone or computer. Some were even able to set safety alarms, such as in this example, where one member was able to set a reminder for herself to turn off the stove, which was previously a source of fear for her. Beyond utility, conversational agents empower easy access to fun entertainment such as music, podcasts, jokes, games, YouTube videos, and news, which were popular uses of the Google Home Hub. Finally, for our care partners, the empowerment comes in the form of another entity which can field questions and provide support for daily routines. The second theme we uncover is that care partners' engagement and effort strongly predicts members' level of success. Furthermore, it takes quite a bit of care partner effort to obtain successful scaffolding in which a care partner is able to set up some infrastructure using the conversational agent that will later support a member. For example, this may be setting an alarm to act as a medication reminder. Finally, we learn that despite our efforts in distributing training materials, more support and training is needed for our participants to feel confident that they can use their conversational agents to the fullest and really meet their needs. Also, more training materials is, are needed to help our participants understand how their conversational agents work. We put effort into helping our participants understand how these devices work and encourage them not to discuss certain details with their conversational agents, including specific medications they were taking and other sensitive information. We noticed quite a bit of engagement with the conversational agents across our participants when compared with another's comparable study. Our care partners, whose mean age was 72.8, interacted with the Google Home Hub 5.7 times more than 45 to 54 year olds in Bentley et al's work interacting with a comparable conversational agent. And our members, whose mean age was 78.2, interacted with their Google Home Hubs 2.6 times more than those 45 to 54 year olds. We attribute this to our providing training materials and to our researchers actually setting up the Google Home Hubs in their houses for them. We also notice quite a bit of personification of the Google Home Hub, with many members and care partners referring to Google as he or she, and some even engaging in conversations with their Google Homes. Overall, we learned a great deal about how older adults with MCI and their care partners actually interact with conversational assistance such as the Google Home Hub over time, and we were able to relate our findings to prior work. We dug deeper into how conversational agents can be used collaboratively to support the activities of a dyad and not just an individual. And finally, we identified key design implications based on the needs and attitudes of our participants, which we are now using to guide our current and future work. Thank you very much, and I look forward to answering your questions.